to show us how food miles work, Stephen and Ryan are going to need their dinner. And then what are you going to do, guys? We're going to find out whose dinner travels further. They've got chicken goujons, mashed potato, and fruit for dessert. So they're eating the same dinner. Not quite soon. The things on Ryan and Stephen's plates come from different places. What kind of places? To show us, they've made a special map of the world. Whoa, that is one big map. And the boys are standing on Ireland. Stephen is going to show us how far his dinner had to travel. His chicken gouchons were from China. That's a long way to travel. Yes, and it's taking a lot of energy. So that means a lot of food miles. Uh, keep winding, Stephen. Now his pineapple, which came from Central America. Not as far, but still a long way away. And finally, his potatoes, which came from Europe. <laughs> you must be tired after using up all that energy, Stephen. Now it's Ryan's turn. Hey, it's all at Ryan's feet. That's because all the ingredients in his dinner were grown in Ireland. So they had a small distance to travel and use less energy. Oh, and that means fewer food miles. Exactly, Zoom. And fewer food miles is much better for us and our planet. Bye-bye, Stephen and Ryan. Thanks for showing me that eating food from closer to home is miles better. Let's find out.